All right, I'm out here camping in Twin Lakes, Colorado in my ambulance, and I don't have any plans for tomorrow's adventures. I came up with the idea of spinning a bottle to decide what peak I'm gonna run up tomorrow. Let's see how it goes. What mountain is that? What? Which direction? That one. It's the bottle down there, and that is... Massive. No, it's Massive, Mount Massive. Is that where you're going? I haven't been up there yet. All right, we'll get out of here. These early morning mires are my favorite. We have the whole trail to ourselves and we quickly get rewarded for our efforts. Getting pretty close to summit. We can see it pretty clearly now. But we're kind of racing a big thunderstorm that's developing up over the mountain. So we have to get up and down within like an hour or two or bad thunderstorms, hail maybe. So see if we can make it in time. We met a group of hikers that happen to be from the same town in Georgia as us. They have doubts that they can make it to the summit before the storm arrives. And it's gonna storm, better the storm. <laughs> Great. Great. Well, good thing there's no storm right now. I'm just gonna enjoy these beautiful views and these incredible wildflowers out here. It's hard to tell, but the birds actually flew over my dad's head and tried to attack me. Luckily, there were some friendly animals on the trail.
just when we thought we made it to the top, it was a fall summit again. The rear summit, that peak over there. There is a reason why it's called Mount Massive, for the numerous peaks that spread out over the Three Mile Summit Ridge. This mountain actually has more area above 14,000 feet than any other mountain in the lower 48. An interesting story was during the Great Depression, there were debates about which mountain was the tallest between Mount Albert and Mount Massive. It was determined that Mount Massive was only 12 feet shorter, so supporters of Mount Massive decided to construct large piles of rocks on the summit to boost its height. But Mount Albert supporters quickly demolished them, resulting in Albert remaining the tallest. Alright, we made it to the summit. A storm's coming in, so we have to make it down pretty fast before it hits us. As we were rushing down off the summit, we ran into our old friends that didn't think they could make it hours ago. Hello, you made it. Yep. You're making it at least. There's a little false summit, but... Oh, it's a good one? Yeah, there's one. You think you're at this top and you're not. Look to your left, just a taller mountain. <laughs> yeah, you got to go another uh, 500 meters or so. See you back in Georgia. In order to save time, we decided to try a shortcut. Yeah, that's the short way down. Oh, okay. But, but, but sketchy down. Yeah. <laughs> that's only three miles, that's seven. I'll do the seven. Yeah. <laughs> trail? I'm not going down this way. Dude. Down that? Well, shows a trail down here, but it is pretty sketchy. Cliffed out, a trough, loose rocks. Like that's a big loose rock right here. That thing is like, we just fall right on you. Like it's like barely being supported by anything. Yeah, I said we just take the long way back down. Try to outrun the storm. Yeah. That's way too sketchy. I'm holding onto a loose rock right now. <laughs> I gotta have a helmet for this. A rope and a Sherpa, and a llama, a billy goat, and a marmot. It's too sketchy. Come on, let's go. away from the big storm from the alpine but it started raining again so okay i think that's a good sign to end this video and i'll see you back at the ambulance if you made it this far and want to see more videos like this go subscribe